Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Xiong. Today's topic, fox hunt in America. I'm not referring to America's heritage activity involving the tracking, chase, and if caught, the killing of a fox. I'm referring to the Operation Fox Hunt, aka Operation Skynet. In 2014, Chinese President Xi Jinping ordered to create a fox hunt as an international anti-corruption campaign. But according to former FBI Director Christopher Wray, the fox hunt is a sweeping bid by Xi to target Chinese nationals who he sees as threats and who live outside of China. We are talking about the political rivals, dissidents, and critics seeking to expose China's extensive human rights violations. Millions of immigrants flock to the U.S. every year. Many of them are from countries that are adversaries to the United States. It is far too often that the security apparatus of the immigrant's native country reaches out in the U.S. to coerce the immigrant back to their home country. China is a prime example. On July 21st, a superseding indictment from the grand jury of the Eastern District of New York was issued indicting nine individuals, of which eight are identified. The indictment details the efforts of the Chinese government to send their operatives to the United States to harass, stalk, and coerce residents of the United States to return to the PRC as a part of a global concerted and extralegal repatriation effort known as Operation Fox Hunt. The indicted individuals include U.S. citizens, Chinese citizens who are lawful permanent residents in the United States, and Chinese citizens who are residents in China, including the Chinese prosecutor as well as the redacted identity of the ninth individual. The nine people were charged with acting as illegal agents of China, conspiracy and illegal stalking of dissidents and the Beijing regime critics between 2016 and 2019. Prosecutors said the men were operating under the direction of China's communist government and spied on and harassed U.S. residents, pressuring them to return to China. Chinese fox hunt teams are made up of undercover agents from the government's Ministry of Public Security who were recruited to target dissidents, human rights activists, and other political opponents. Many of fox hunt targets reside in the United States and are citizens or permanent residents, the indictment said. Federal enforcement officials had already targeted the operation as a threat before the indictments were unsealed. Some of the targeted individuals might have violated financial laws and were legitimate targets of law enforcement investigations, officials have said. But many others were political rivals, dissidents or critics of the Chinese government. Rather than use established legal systems such as Interpol or request assistance from U.S. law enforcement, U.S. officials have said the Chinese agents try to intimidate people into returning to China. The court documents detail the way the Chinese manipulated their target family in China to provide operational leverage in order to coerce the target to return to China. The operatives brought the target's father from China to engage his son and plead with him to return to China. That effort appeared to have failed. When the father returned to China and the operative accompanying him attempted to engage, the father was very hostile, the operative later informed his superior. In fact, the target's father talked to the flight attendants, and the flight attendants told the operative to not speak with the father again during the flight. When the effort to use the target's father did not work, the Chinese operatives began to investigate how to leverage the target's adult daughter who is a legal resident in the United States. They began with an online harassment campaign alleging the family was corrupt. This was followed by hiring an individual to surveil the daughter. The Chinese operatives were able to produce name, 
date of birth, social security number, known address, and academic history. As an example of the physical harassment, two operatives attempted to force open the door to their target's residence. When they failed, they opted to leave a note on the target's door which said, If you are willing to go back to the mainland and spend 10 years in prison, your wife and children will be all right. That's the end of this matter. Acting U.S. Attorney Jacqueline Corsa said, quote, As alleged, the defendants acting as agents of the PRC carried out an illegal and clandestine campaign to harass and threaten targeted U.S. residents in order to force them to return to the PRC. Unregistered roving agents of a foreign power are not permitted to engage in secret surveillance of U.S. residents on American soil, and their illegal conduct will be met with the full force of U.S. law. To the extent the PRC seeks to repatriate its citizen to the PRC, its agents are required to register with the Attorney General of the United States coordinate with U.S. officials and adhere to U.S. laws and protocols." Unquote. In November 2020, the Canadian Security Intelligence Service spokesperson John Tonset said, quote, Certain foreign states routinely attempt to threaten and intimidate individuals around the world through various state entities and non-state proxies. These states, such as the People's Republic of China, may use a combination of their intelligence and security services as well as trusted agents to assist them in conducting various forms of threat activities." Unquote. The case against alleged agent is seen as an attempt by the United States to push back against China's rogue practices, including computer hacking, influence operations, and intellectual property theft. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I will see you again shortly.